Some might paint a picture where the water shines like gold. Some catch that moment in a photograph. There's a place that lives in a better time, getting better like vintage wine. Some folks come from all around, come to stay in my hometown, and it ain't hard to find a happy smile. Me, I'm just singing this old song. Clock says 2 a.m. and I'm gone. Riding across those railroad tracks, ain't no way I'm looking back. Fair hope waits for me, I'm going home. I'm Teresa Hayes from Franklin, Tennessee. I'm a textile artist and I'm delighted to be here in Fairhope. Spanish moss is hanging from a live oak tree. Cicadas singing their harmony. There's a place that moves at a different pace, moves with such a peaceful grace. Listen to their siren song Telling you to come on down And drop your sails and rest for a while Me, I'm just singing this old song What? Angela. Mary. Patricia. Where are you from? Fairhope. Riding across those railroad tracks Okay, I'm Fred Reddick from Mobile, Alabama, a wood turner. I'm excited to be at the Fairhope Art Show, the 61st Art Show. Uh, I've had a large time. I was able to win an award. I found it to be quite an accomplishment. People love beautiful things, and a straight piece of wood should be used in two before or something else. But when it comes to multi burl woods and all that, the, the grain stands out and it jumps out. I'm Nancy Blades from Jonesboro, Arkansas. Well, the process is an alternative technique from traditional photography, but I am using film, and it is not digital, and it's all hand manipulated, uh, working on the soft emulsion. I take different little small tools and physically move it around, kind of like if I were painting with it, until I get it the way I want it. And then once it's set up, then that's it. You don't work on it anymore. I start with the film. Uh, you can manipulate it around as much or as little as you want, just depending on the image. Mm -hmm. and I tend to do it quite a bit, though. Anyway, that's what gives it the textural and painterly look, but they are all strictly photographs. So and all done by hand, not on the computer. <laughs> Thank you.
was was a great surprise. Um, I think the judges appreciated Scratchboard. Um, one judge in particular had done Scratchboard in black and white and had not seen it in color. And the coloring technique is something that I came up with um, and has worked for my works. Sarah Foss and I'm the batik artist and um, the batik is actually a wax resist process. Okay. Apply wax and immerse it into different dyes and I normally leave a space in between the shapes so you get an outline effect making it look like stained glass but in fabric form. The little lines come from when you're handling the material with the wax on it. Breaks occur in the wax and the dye seeps in. Um, it has almost an antique feel about it. I start with reality and then I go into the abstraction, kind of the essence of the subject matter, the soul that you may feel but not visually see. Probably have a hundred hours in each piece. Teresa Morehouse Howling. I'm a sculptor from Ithaca, New York, and I also live in Jupiter, Florida. This is about three levels of marriage. This first level here is from an old European fairy tale, not country specific, so old that it was done in the oral tradition and most of the story has been lost. But this section of the story is pretty much intact. It's about the three fates the weaver, the cutter, and the spinner of the fabric of life. And they are initiating the bride and groom into the wedding mystery. They're teaching them the, the reverence about living. But in this particular instance, they're saying that on their wedding night, they are to keep their eyes open when they make love, so that they will see who really lives inside of each other, the soulful one, the one they will always love and forgive. And that this love of marriage is consecrated by fire. This next level of marriage is cross-cultural. It's called the alchemical marriage. It's the marriage of the masculine and the feminine with your, your own being. If you thought of the masculine as the one that goes out and manifests stuff, the feminine is the one that thinks of things up to, to manifest. So when you have that marriage within you, you're not looking outside yourself to complete yourself. This next level of marriage is to the divine. But I'm married to the divine. And all that means is, I realized in my late 40s that if I teamed up with power, that my work got a lot better really fast. And the secret to that is getting out of the way. And most of us don't want to do that. Thank you. Hi, I'm Sean Bungo. I'm a lamp work artist and um, I make a lot of pendants, paperweights, cabinet knobs, doorknobs out of glass with a torch. I have more of like a aquatic theme with my work. Um, basically, I, I work with a torch and I, I start with a, a solid glass rod. I do rod implosions. So what I do is I, I gather up a ball of clear glass and I'll flatten it into like a, a flat disc, which is called a Maria. On the back of that disc, I take colored glass rods and I melt my design in the center of that disc and I leave a lip of clear around the edge of my design and I start spinning it in the flame at an angle and I let that lip of clear melt down and stretch the design out, which gives it a 3D effect. that I grow, um, but like when my husband grows in the garden, we have a farm in Bryson City, and after they've grown for one year, they dry for a year, and then we clean them, it cleans out the inside, and then I do the color, which is a dye, 
that he makes and then I basket weave on top. that we ever grew. It took one year to grow, two years to dry, five years to figure out what it was going to be when it grew up. We finished it two weeks before Fair Hope. We had a great time, great food, and just love it here. Thank you. I'm going to write the governor, I'm going to protest, I'm going to get some signs out. I've come 1,300 miles for this. Yeah, really, exactly. There's no snow, I want to be skating, I want to shovel. I want to get my car stuck. I want to use my jumper cables. What's going on here? She understands color and what goes. She packs, packs my clothes so I get the right outfits. Nice lady. Nice lady. Otherwise, I'd probably have a stretch for it. <laughs> This is Warner Whitfield, and um, it's blown glass and sculpted glass. Uh, we were chosen to be the winners for the sculptor category, and, um, which is a combination uh, uh, of pulling and sculpting and molding all by hand.
I'm Keith Andre, uh, do watercolors. I'm from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. I've been doing the show for, I guess, 15, maybe 20 years. My name is B. Hatala, and this is my first year at the festival. Well, it's, it's self-explanatory. <laughs> it, it, it takes several days to, to produce. You know, a fused glass is um, an ancient um, craft it, invented by the Egyptians. Strickland from Panama City Beach, Florida, and this is all fused glass, three-dimensional fusing on stainless steel and copper. What we do that sets us apart is this is four to five layers of glass, and we stack our glass in the layout process to where the top layer of glass, once it's in the kiln, will fire to the middle but not fall all the way through. In doing so, I'm able to blend my colors when I'm heating the glass at about 1400 degrees. It's then taken out of the kiln and put onto various metals, primarily stainless steel and in some cases copper.
Tanya Hedgeman and I am from Woodstock, Georgia. Uh, the textures which are applied to my work, they uh, represent a person's journey. I apply each texture mark individually and this is done to assimilate how in life each step we take has to be taken one at a time, oftentimes different from the step taken before. The integration of textured and non-textured surfaces is a reminder that this too shall pass. The inclusion of the cavity in, my, in some of my work reflects the innate desire for wholeness and the need to fill our lives with purpose. And as a consequence of this desire, the choices we make direct our steps. originally from Ocean Springs area yeah. and I grew up around that Peter Anderson festival and uh, Ocean Springs and I guess I've always wanted to be an artist and I kind of molded it around you know just the life there and it which really is a lot like Fairhope in a way it's a small nice town you know and so um, I started making crabs on pieces of pottery and it was very successful, but it really, it was, you know, who I was. Primarily what I'm working with are uh, copper and stainless steel, using it uh, pretty much purely as the, the full material. So we'll take uh, copper pieces using different torches and grinding texture tools so that as that piece develops you get a, a depth and a quality to it that you kind of don't get so much with paints or chemical stains. Northwest Arkansas, Fayetteville, Arkansas. Uh, I've done art shows for 36 years, full time. This is one of my favorites. This Fair Hope is, I've come here 10 to 15 years. I've kind of lost track. And it's such a beautiful place and I enjoy being here a lot.
porcelain is a naturally occurring white clay. By working different metallic oxides into the clay body, kneading them in, I've created black porcelain. I roll the porcelain into a sheet, cut a tile to size. Then we use an X-Acto knife and carve each landscape by hand. I then fire the porcelain to 2,400 degrees. I mount them on the surface of the glass in a frame so they can be touched. This piece has 91 unique tiles. It's titled, The Night is Calling to You. On behalf of the Chamber of Commerce, we'd like to present you with Best in Show for the 61st year. You're welcome. Congratulations. My name is Katrin Wolf, and I'm from Monticello, Florida, although I am a Pennsylvania girl. My pieces are done using a cloisonne enamel technique, which is very labor intensive, many, many firings. Lots of patience. I use 24 karat gold wires to do the wire work. And I'm firing on fine silver, and the settings are 18 karat, 14 karat gold. Mostly one of a kind pieces. I've been doing jewelry since 1985 and started the enamels in 2000.